Hi there, I'm Ben, and welcome to part 16 of my full platinum walkthrough for Bloodborne. We're still doing Jalice Dungeons. Um, we're going to Ailing Loran this time. This is a brand new type of dungeon, so, well, it's exactly the same as all the others, but we have a new aesthetic to it. It's like old Yarnum, werewolves, things like that. So you should have all the materials that we need from the previous episode. We got them all. We got the nine a level four uh, ritual blood. And we've got the four cold blood flower bud. Uh, there you go. So you should have all that. If you don't, you can find it in the previous episode when we went down there. Uh, yeah. So we are not actually going to fully complete this one, but <laughs> we need to go right to the end. The only reason we're doing this, this particular one, is to get two. Bastard of Loran, which are a ritual material. Just two of them. That's all we need from here. But they are in the secret area just before the third boss. So we have to go all the way down to layer three to get that. So we're going to make the best of it. We're going to do, uh, we're going to be getting ritual blood level four still. You should already have maybe some, one or two left, maybe depending how lucky you got on your drops. Um, yeah, and as we work through, the good thing about this place is the amount of blood echoes you get. You get a lot, uh, like a serious amount. We're going to be leveling up a lot during this one. Um, so that's the good thing. Uh, the bad thing is that some of it can be fairly tricky. The bosses are okay. We do have to fight two of the bosses. Nothing you haven't fought before, though, so you should be fine with those. Uh, so you've got two options, really. You, if you remember the um, farming place where we got the ritual blood uh, level 4 in layer 2 of the previous one in the lower Thumerian dungeon, there was uh, a couple of the uh, snatchers there that you could farm for level 4. If you just want to do that, then you can do that and skip all the side areas here and just go straight for the main areas um, and not bother with all that. This is a side area I'm in right now. I'm just going in here to pick up one level 4 um, ritual blood. That's it. I'm going to find 10 that you can definitely find in this area. So you will have enough because what we need for the next dungeon that we're going to, the defiled dungeon uh, yeah, that one is next <laughs> is 4 uh, sorry, 9 level 4 ritual blood. Uh, the 2 bastard of Loran 22 arcane haze. Arcane haze is not a problem. We have the haze extractor now. We can just use some mold. You should have lots of two mold. Uh, we don't need that at all for anything, so we can just burn through that uh, as we need it. Uh, yeah, so you can go all the way through and just get the Bastard Loran and just go all the way through. Ignore the side areas, really. There's not much else. There is one specific one we do need to do. Um, that is the first one of area two. There's a weapon there, actually, is something we actually properly need. Uh, one of the weapons we need for a trophy. But apart from that, like this one here, you don't need to do this. Um, if you want to go and farm the other place instead. Uh, yeah. But, also, the positive is the amount of blood echoes you'll get. You'll get a lot. Uh, so, your yeah, red spider uh, chime maidens, they are pretty prolific in this one. Uh, and there's one particular area, one of the side areas, which has the most ritual blood in it. It has four in it, which has one of the worst rooms in the whole game in it. <laughs> it's it's not it's not fun at all. So the reason I'm doing this, it might might look I'm make, making a complete mess of it. I kind of am, I suppose. But I'm drawing that spider back, so I can run in here and take out the chime maiden. That's kind of the best thing to do with these: is ignore them all, try and get them behind you and kill her before uh, anything else can appear. Uh, yeah, the problem with these Maidens is they don't usually take damage when they are getting up. Uh, so you have to wait, give it a, a couple of seconds, maybe, well, about a second if you're up before you actually hit them. But once they die, everything else dies. So as long as you can get to them, then you'll be fine. And that's going to be sort of the theme for quite a few of these, is uh, getting to the Chime Maiden. So yeah, nothing down here, so once you've got her, you're okay, you've got some blood vials, and this is what we're here for. Uh, no, sorry, this is the two mold, we're not here for that at all. Uh, but yeah, you can grab this while we're here. Uh, yeah, so the actual area we need is just past here. We came in here to kill her first, otherwise the spiders would um, follow us. Uh, the ritual blood is in this room here. 
get rid of him. Yeah, so uh, another thing is traps. There's lots of traps still. Uh, and these werewolf type creature things, they there's a trap as well, so watch out for that. Um, they blend in very well. Now this is one of the most terrifying enemies in any game ever. <laughs> that is horrific. <laughs> the way it just runs at you with its screaming face. That will haunt you nightmares. That is... Uh, that is terrifying. Whoever came up with that. <laughs> uh, yeah, even when I've researched this, I obviously I've done this already, uh, so I have a recording and I watch it not at full, at one time speed, I watch it at double or triple, sometimes quadruple. And when we're seeing one of those things run at you with double speed is even worse. So yeah, that's what we're here for. Ritual Blood, level, one, uh, level four, just one of them. So we did this whole side thing just for that one. Uh, yeah. So there is uh, quite a few of these actually have two side areas to them, so each layer. So we've got this side area we've just done, now we'll go and do the actual layer. Uh, then there's another side area on the way out as well. So there are a few, uh, most of the good stuff is obviously in these side areas. Uh, you will see me ducking into um, Back to Hunter's Dream a few times as well, because you can see you've got 116,000... Uh, blood echoes. All I've done is the first side area. We've not even got into the first layer yet. This is it now. And I already have 116,000. So yeah, cash them in often. I'm not going to do it here because I know what's coming up is pretty straightforward. But I will just before the boss and things like that, before the next side area. Yeah, so th this room there's lots of these guys around in this in this Ailing Loran dungeon. Uh, they are obviously pretty simple. You can just do the charge R2. And then follow up with single and that's going to kill them. And you can see it's 5,000 plus a piece for these guys. There is a big one behind that uh, column there so watch out for him. Um, I still have the rune on that gives us more than moon rune. So that's I'm getting a few more blood echoes. Uh, plus the eye rune I've got that on still as well. Uh, I will be changing up a bit later on to prevent against poison. Because one of the bosses is... The blood starved beast so hopefully you managed the blood starved beast okay uh, last time in old yarnum because it's just you and i think it's a her uh, whatever it is in it um yeah just you and it there's no summon so it's uh it's actually a lot easier than you'd think um ducking under the left side that's all you need to know <laughs> Apart from that, it's uh, it's very simple. As long as you can get the rhythm and keep the rhythm, you'll be fine. And there's uh, obviously a few things you can do to help with damage. Things like fire. This is the final one. That is a pretty good room for Blood Echoes. Nearly 50,000 there. So yeah, it's uh, not bad at all. Ritual Blood 5, you're going to start finding that down here as well. We don't need that yet, but we do need some for 6 and 7. So... The next one we're doing, I'm counting these. I said we need to go into seven um, dungeons, chalice dungeons. This is number four that we're doing. Number five is going to be <laughs> the Defile Dungeon next. Yes. As long as you, once you get past that one, you're in the home straight. So after the next video, once you get past Defile Dungeon, everything else is just straightforward, simple. Even the final bosses of the game are straightforward and simple compared to Defile Dungeon. Uh, yeah, watch out. There's a few traps around here, so just watch out for that. And then this little chest here, this is what you're looking for, has the one ritual blood. Uh, yeah, so next is five, and then six and seven are the two larger dungeons. As seven has uh, the Queen Yarnum in it. That's our target. But for, <laughs> it's just the whole having to go through these just to get just a couple of... Uh, Ritual items here and there, like the one we're doing now for the, the two Bastard of Loran. This whole thing, this whole hour, is just to get two items. Uh, yeah. Thankfully it has changed up a bit, and the Blood Echoes are good. So, I think, it, yeah, by the end of this one, I have um, 50 health, 40 health, sorry. 40, 40, 50, Yes. So I've got 40 uh, health, uh, vitality, endurance is 40, and then strength I get to 50. So we're almost there with regards to being pretty leveled up. Here's another one of these terrifying things. They hurt as well, that's another thing I forgot to mention. Watch out, they really, really hurt. 
Uh, they don't give you much time as well. You can see I'm trying to do the charge because I always do. Mainly because of the knockback. That's the reason you do this move so often, or I do it anyway. That knockback, you can just stun them. And once you can do two, one after another, there's not many enemies that can deal with that. Sage's hair is another material that we don't need. There, so that's uh, number one done. But we've got a new side area to do. So the actual dungeons themselves are fairly straightforward. It is just doing the side stuff. At this point now I will go back to uh, Hunter's Dream and cash in. Because it's nearly 200,000. Might as well. So if we go to the left now, uh, you go straight back to the lamp. And we'll go and do some levelling. Well. How many levels can we get this time? Three maybe? Yep, three. See, so yeah, vitality is going to be at 40. I think I'm going to yeah, leave that 40. Endurance at 40. Strength up to 50. Well, and uh, that's where we go. So if you can get vitality up to 40, that's going to help a bit with uh, the next dungeon, which is going to be... Um, the Defile Dungeon, our health is going to drop to half, so obviously if you have more it's going to help more. Just a bit, but it's all relative I suppose. We'll actually be getting a uh, trophy in this one as well, uh, Blood Gem Master, because you're going to start getting the top tier Blood Gem drops from now on. Uh, you should definitely get it by Defile Dungeon in the next video. If you don't get it in this video, uh, you should get it in the next video, but don't worry, you will get it, because... The further we go, the better the Blood Gems turn out to be. So yeah, I get one once defeat after defeating Blood Starved Beast, which is the second boss. Um, so yeah, don't worry if you don't, but you will. Just trust me, you will get one. So yeah, checking the sides here as you go th through these corridors, it's best not to run. You've got traps. Like, there is literally, there's a trap there. You can see it on the floor. And there's an enemy. I'm just going to turn around and show you. There it is. There was a trap and... So yeah, it's sneaky. It's uh, getting dangerous down here. <laughs> so yeah, always check the corners because they do camouflage. They are camouflaged. Probably not run either. Three of them in here. So a weird thing when I was checking my sort of research run for this one, um, these guys wouldn't come near me. These three. That's why I kind of walked into that room uh, with kind of no regard for them actually being there, is this kind of held their arm up uh, as if they were afraid of this lamp, almost. But uh, not this time, so I don't know what I did differently, what was different, I'm not sure, but they wouldn't come near me. But anyway, there you go. Scurrying Beast, there's a couple of those knocking about. They are not going to drop materials anymore, they're always going to drop gems now. So uh, yeah, keep an eye out for them. If you're into switching all the gems and everything, you hardly find one that's better than one than one you already have. It is quite rare at this point. Not one you'd probably use. There's very few that I would change. Yeah, watch out. There's more of my friends here. These <laughs> these masses of black goo. Yeah, those guys. At least they're not in the ceiling this time. No. <laughs> Yeah, so we are going to be cutting short areas as well. Not um, not doing everything. We're just going to go what we need and leave. So this is a, a new kind of thing we're seeing as well, and which is nice. Something different. Uh, yeah, these kind of suspension bridges, almost, whatever you want to call them. Uh, leading to new areas, secret areas. There's going to be a few of these. Should have probably done the top one first, but never mind, because you could have dropped down to the second one. But the ritual blood that we need is in here. Or some of it. Uh, yeah, you've you've fought these before. These are the ones in Nightmare Frontier. They don't drop the worms, so don't worry about being uh, having a fire weapon. But they do hit hard, so watch out. Always try to do dodge under their first attack. Uh, fire the right or left. They do like to do a slam attack when you first meet them as well. Uh, that can really hurt, so watch out for that one. Ritual blood there, that's why we came down here. Yeah, so I'm going to go upstairs this time. 
and uh, get some more stuff. Nope, not there. Upstairs. <laughs> down here so yes yeah, essentially the same thing I could have just I should have done I knew it when <laughs> I knew it when I was doing it I chose wrong yeah I could have just dropped down onto this uh, this other one but never mind it's not that bad Molotov and then you got the treasure room it's uh, one of those treasure rooms now so you got two mold uh, level four times two ritual blood at level four times two and an odd fire damp blood gem uh, if that's of any use to you. But what we're here for is the ritual blood. Two of it. There isn't actually a big enemy in here. But there are spiders in the corners. And of course watch out. I don't think I've ever seen a trap in one of these rooms. Maybe I have, maybe I haven't. It's, uh, it's just one of those effects. I think I've seen them. That's the thing as well you may want to... I don't think I've mentioned that yet is you can use your guns to flip spiders over uh, it can help if you get overwhelmed with the red ones later on but more often than not you just want to run for it uh, flipping all the spiders over is not going to make the most difference just run past them and get to that bell maiden chime maiden whatever they're called but yeah that is something you can do flip the spiders over So yeah, we've got the gem here, and then we've got around the edges, we've got the ritual items. So that's one of the two blood. And there's the other one. Right, boss time. So we're done in this side area. Beast Possessed Soul. We have done this twice we've fought this enemy. Uh, once in the bottom of um, the upper cathedral ward where we dropped down into that hole. Uh, after finding the real Hunter's Dream we dropped down and there was a, a werewolf type looking thing. Uh, or more goat looking aren't they? Uh, anyway, one of those guys with the fire uh, attacks and then we did one as a boss in an earlier chalice dungeon this one I'm going to take it easy and just you can go in all in and try and attack it but he hits really hard so don't get caught into it there's lots of openings though so just doing that uh, normal R1 get the attacks so you can dodge through his fire attacks that's actually quite a good time to attack, to attack him uh, when he does them so if you dodge through them usually via his uh, through the right like that to your right and then the, he does this volley here he does this quite often which is five swipes at that point if you just get far enough back to where you think the fifth one's gonna miss you you can stand there and just charge a uh, an R2 for the most part though you're not gonna have much time to charge R2s you can see I, I am doing them but you need to wait for an opening and there's not many this guy is fast but he will back away quite often, like that as well. So he likes an opening just as much as you do. But uh, yeah, he will go straight into that volley of slashes. And if he does that, he can lock you into a lot of damage if you're not careful. So yeah, it's just baiting attacks. Yeah, see here, I was not... <laughs> even though I was ready, I wasn't ready. Yeah, and that grab, uh, the, the punches and the grabs, if he gets you in a grab... Yeah, he's going to get the bloodlust, kind of uh, frenzy, whatever it is. Uh, and he's going to start doing a lot of damage. So here's the volley of five again. So you can wait for that. Get that charge in. Yeah, he's, he, he does track as well. It's not like the Blood Starved Beast later on, where that has a volley of attacks, but it doesn't track you. This guy tracks. He'll turn around halfway through to follow you. So, uh, yeah. Don't rely on that. Uh, yeah, there's just take it slow with this one he is gonna hurt if he gets you especially with the the pounds he does later on the ground pounds yes yeah, if you can get him to keep doing this that's probably the best thing that could happen is that he keeps doing that move yeah now he's going a bit uh, beast mode so to speak he's a bit angry 
So it is actually better to dodge away from... Yeah, he now has that fire attack when he does the, the lunge forward. Uh, it is when he does the volley of five attacks, it is better to dodge back. Usually when an enemy does that, it's not better to dodge back. Because they'll... Wow, that hurt. Yeah, wow. <laughs> that was a lot of damage. Because uh, you'll get caught up in it. But in this one, because he tracks you when you dodge around him, uh, it's better to go back. So yeah, he gives you that big opening as well. Although he did get me with that last one, but that's fine. Yeah, the double one's a good time to attack as well. Now he's going to start doing the slam, and that's what you've got to watch out for. And that's quite a... That one hurts a lot as well. I think I get hit by that in a minute. Yeah, just take it easy. <laughs> just don't chance it. No. <laughs> get my health back. First time I've done that with him, I think. Yeah, and don't rely, obviously don't rely on the columns helping you because they are not. Wow. <laughs> yep, not ready for that at all, even though I should have been. Yeah, trying to get behind him because it's a beast, obviously being behind beast is the best, things to, best thing to do. But uh, yeah, he just tracks you too well. getting greedy now, I just want to finish him. <laughs> I know he's nearly there. Go down. <laughs> oh, that's close. Nearly lost it at the last minute there. There we go. Right. That's one of the two bosses down. That's probably the more difficult of the two, to be honest. Uh, yeah, I would say. The Bloodstar Beast is definitely looks a lot worse than it is, because there is the, the you can just keep dodging under the left to the left. Sometimes you don't even need to press circle; you can just walk underneath the attack and uh, lay straight into it, which is great. Uh, I will be going into that side area in a moment, but I have 145,000 blood echoes, so I'm just going to go and cash those in and go straight back to that side area. This next side area is very important. So make sure you go to this one. If you've been avoiding the others, uh, this one you definitely need to do. Uh, just remember you will need to go and do some farming later on if you don't have the Ritual Blood level 4. But I will be showing you in the side areas enough. You should have 10 of... The, you need 9. You should have 10 by the time we finish. But this one, this uh, side area now, it does have some of the blood in it. It has some level 5 as well, quite a lot of level 5. So it's worth going in there. Uh, but most importantly, Beast Claw is in here. A weapon we need for the trophy. Uh, so once you have this, there's just one more weapon. Depending whether you've been purchasing weapons or not. Uh, just one more weapon left after this, which is New Game Plus. It's the only time you can get it. So, uh, yeah. Getting to the point where there's not much to worry about anymore. Some of these rats you're going to see, uh, most of them are normal like this, but some of them have big cysts on them, quite obvious. Uh, they do fast poison damage, uh, fast poison. So watch out. Normal ones are fine. Shouldn't have any problem with rats at this point. But if they have big cysts, they are fast poison. Do we have one in here? I can't remember if there is. Yes, there is. <laughs> there always is. Oh, I hate these guys. I managed to get rid of him quickly enough, though, so it's okay. I'm waiting for the drop, nothing there. Uh, yeah, don't bother going down there where the rats are. Just go up the ladder. You don't need to go down the side parts of this one. He's always there. He's always there. Oh, I bet he's not going to be there for you now, but he has been for me. He's waiting for you. Uh, yeah, so we just got us to one room is where we're heading fairly straightforward. So there's some of the ritual blood. It's actually on her body, which is quite rare to see. Uh, and then in this room, there's going to be the Beast Claw and ritual blood level 5. And one of these lovely guys. Uh, try and dodge under the attack, but I don't think it goes well with this one. No, it doesn't. It gets me from behind. <laughs> I do a weird 
Uh, charge attack. I'm not sure what was going on there. They do transform, which gives you enough, more than enough time to uh, finish them off. And yeah, in this big chest, coffin, whatever it is, is the Beast Claw. And there we go. So just one more weapon. I will be purchasing weapons uh, more towards the end of the final ch Chalice Dungeons. Uh, you get a lot of Blood Echoes. Uh, some of the weapons are kind of expensive, 40,000, 30,000 here and there. Uh, but most of nothing, one, two thousand. Uh, so yeah, uh, towards the end, is that's when I'll purchase them. Uh, obviously, if you want to change your weapon, feel free to change them whenever. Probably not the best time to do it, but of course you can do it whenever you want. So that's all we needed from this side area. There are other parts, so if you go no, down there, down here, and that, have a mess around in there. There's no need, though. There's nothing we need. Right, let's go and actually start layer two. Uh, again, very straightforward, the actual main part of the layer. And then the side area, the second side area of layer two, has one of the worst, in my opinion, of course, worst rooms in the whole game, the whole Chalice Dungeons, everything. Uh, there's like 10 of those red spiders. It's horrible, and they can easily kill you. Just one of them can easily kill you. Yeah, I was just checking out that weird lantern, the little uh, little guy there showing up. There is one of those uh, black blobs down here, so drop on him with the fire sword. And then carry on anyway. You saw the boss door up there. Uh, no summons here. There is in level 3. You can take him with you. He's, watch out. Yeah, there's going to be lots of dropping uh, werewolf things. Nope, completely missed with that. Got all the health back though. So good the rally. <laughs> so good. You can get hit, but it also doesn't matter. Pungent Cocktails, they can come in handy with the Blood Starved Beast later on. Uh, so yeah, there's a few things you can take in with you for that fight. Don't go in this room yet. This is the way we'll go out. Uh, we'll start at the top and work our way down. Yeah, Blood Starved Beast, obviously weak to fire. You're going to need antidotes. You need some poison. Uh, you, you, it is poison, so you're going to need some antidotes, should I say. Um... Yeah, you can use pungent cocktails, you can use oil urns, you can use fire bombs, uh, molotovs, that is. Uh, yeah, and fire paper is going to be the most useful thing. Whoops! <laughs> that came out of nowhere. I was looking to the left and right because uh, I knew there were here, but I couldn't remember which direction they actually came from. And the answer is to the left. So, of course, if you uh, kill her, I think this is, yeah, where, uh, yeah, as they're getting up, they don't have a hitbox. So, yeah, you just kind of want to wait a second. Uh, there is, you can just see in the corner there, there is a, a new enemy we haven't seen yet. It's um, it's one of those hooded uh, beings, but it is a pyromancer. Um, not too bad, doesn't hurt that much, to be honest. But there's a few other, there's at least three or four down here that can hurt you. These ones, they do hurt a lot, surprisingly, and they take a lot of damage as well. Come on. He's not playing, is he? Here he comes. And then you can use this cart to take the others out. Yeah, I think there's four down here. Yeah, there's the th fourth one. And then I make this... Killing this... Um, pyromancer guy with the hood on look really difficult but it's really not it's really you can see how weak they are uh, the reason is I hit him one more time here I think he's dead so I back away <laughs> he's not at all that's why you should always just let that last hit even if it looks goofy when you're hitting thin air 
either going to get help, some health back from it, or you actually might need to hit them again. Yeah, there we go. That's uh, level two done. There's actually nothing else of importance in here, so it's a case of just get the hell out. I'll just grab a few things. Oil urn. I actually use it. I don't ever have. I don't think I've ever used oil urn before. I know what it does, but it just seems like a waste. <laughs> Could be doing something else. Um, yeah, it kind of coats the enemy, makes them more susceptible to fire damage. Uh, I do use it on the Blood Star Beast the first time as I go in, then I completely forget to do it again, and that's it really. So yeah, maybe keep the oil urns going. But another thing with the Blood Star Beast is it moves so quickly, um, throwing things at it can miss more often than not. Plus you want to keep your rhythm going as well. So yeah, this is the room that kind of walked in a little bit before and said we'll come, this is our way out. So where we are now. So we're not going straight to the boss just yet. We are going to do side area number two. But before going there, I'm going to go and cash in again. Uh, because, yeah, like I said, this has one of the worst rooms in the whole game. Uh, you might get stuck... Uh, and if you do lose your, if you do die, your blood echoes might get stuck with an enemy that's really far into the uh, into the room, and you might not be able to get back to them without dying again. So, cash them in. So there's boss door and the side area. So that's all I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna quickly run back, level up, level up a couple of times. Where we're we going, yeah. So it's all going to go into strength at this point, and then when that gets to fifty, uh, I'll start putting some in um, skill. That's going to help with um, visceral damage a bit more. But really, there isn't much else to put it into. I'm not going to use arcane or blood tinge ever, so that doesn't really matter. Blood tinge can help with your pistol damage or your weapon damage, should I say? Because that uses blood tinge, but. You don't really use that for damage anyway, so it doesn't matter. Unless you're using a weapon like the Chikage, then obviously you do need high blood tinge. Yeah, this this room. So when you come in, you got that guy. You got there's a guy going to come bursting through here. So you, if you stay to the right, he's going to miss you entirely. And then there's a werewolf at the top of the stairs. Completely ignore that. Just run for the door. You should be able to open it. You have iframes while opening the door. So even if it does try and get you, just roll through. Watch for the trap run past this one and then try and get in here I'm trying to get in before the uh, the spiders spawn but I'm too late so you can see how many there's already what three four in here already five six <laughs> uh, yeah so if that happens come right down here uh, and sort of circle around try and get them all into this room we're trying to get to the, look how many there are it's absolutely ridiculous and it's not even done yet there's another one so there's one, I thought she was on this ledge, she's actually not on the ledge. She's a bit further down. Where are you? Where are you hiding? There you are, you camouflage. So there's one here, and there's actually one up at the top as well. It's obviously best to do the uh, one at the bottom, that is close. The one at the bottom first, because it gives you more time. And then you can bring the other spiders down here, and um, it gives you time to run up to the one at the top. So yeah, it's it's awful this room, it's really bad. There, it's gone. But some, some of the red spiders don't disappear. I don't know why they're staying, but there's no other maidens. So yeah, there's going to be some that you might have to kill, so be aware. Most of them should disappear as they die, but some of them, for some reason, do not. Which I'm, yeah, I'm going back up to check if she's definitely gone. And she is, because there's the item she dropped. Um, yeah, I'm not sure why there's some lingering, but there are. So yeah, that's it. Uh, but the reason I'm going in here is there's four ritual blood, uh, yeah, four ritual blood level four, so it's it's kind of worth it. Or if you really don't want to go that, if you can't do it, uh, getting through there because those spiders, if they get stuck, you stuck in a doorway, it's gonna really hurt. Uh, if you can't do it or you just don't want to, then um, yeah, go and do the farming in the previous dungeon uh, before doing that because those can easily kill you out of nowhere as well. I'll just show you 
Uh, that's the room we need to go in. There's just one more enemy. Uh, there's actually the a shortcut door up here. So this is the room we came in. And this is the entrance where that werewolf was at the top of the stairs. Obviously that only opens from this side. With all the spiders around you will not have enough time to open that door. So this time you could just run straight through to the top of the stairs. It will give you more time just in case. But yeah, that's... Uh, it's rough. It might not have looked that bad. Or it might just... I might have made it look worse or something. But it's just a horrendous room. <laughs> not much time for a charge. And then I should have backed away then. Because that's obviously going to hurt. There we go. Down. Whew. Right. Four ritual blood in here. That's what we did it for. Now we can go and do the boss. Blood starved beast. So I, this is the point where I'll get the blood gem master trophy as well. Uh, we do get the ailing Loran root chalice. That's completely pointless because we're never going to use it. Uh, yeah, don't you are going to get a gem from the blood starved beast. Whether it's good enough to to get you the trophy or not, it may or may not be. If it doesn't, don't matter. You'll get one in the defile dungeon that's good enough. This, I don't know. I fought so many of these werewolves. Um, I don't know what goes wrong. I walked a bit too far. Completely miss. It does the lunge attack. Might be the only time I've ever been hit by that. I don't remember there actually being a lunge attack. I didn't know they could do that, so it must have been. Or I've forgotten. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know. Don't ask. Because I don't know. There. Made that look difficult. Right, now we'll go and do the Bloodstar Beast. But once again, just beforehand, I'm going to go back to um, Hunter's Dream. Not only to cash in, I mean there's not that many, uh, mainly to put a different rune on. We want poison resistance, so that's what we're going to do. So we go back, I'm going to just drop uh, probably one level, yeah, just one level with that amount. Yeah, just the one there. And then we're going to go up and we're going to do the runes, switch them around. We don't need uh, moon rune at this uh, No, we we'll have moon rune, sorry. We don't need eye rune. So I'm going to switch that for clear deep sea, so plus 200 slow poison resistance. Uh, you can see at the top there the bars got longer. That obviously helps against uh, Blood Star Beast because uh, of the the poison. It's exactly the same fight as when you did it originally in Old Yarnum. So you want antidotes, you want fire paper. If you want you can have molotovs, rope molotovs, you've got pungent cocktails, oil urns. I'm gonna actually put try oil urns out. Pungent cocktails if you haven't used them, if you don't remember, are for distracting beasts so if you throw one into a corner the blood star beast will run after it and uh, it'll give you attack uh, time for enough a charge r2 or something um so yeah i don't like having too many items on my quick list it's because i want to get to what i need so i throw through an oil urn then then i'm going to use a fire paper for some reason as i was coming across to to press the uh uh change the items i hit up and got myself some extra blood ammo so I don't know why I did that but yeah it's just what you'll just see what I'm going to do is basically just walk under and late dash under the left side the whole time even yeah so sometimes it'll do the arm sweep obviously there's a massive telegraph when it's about to do that um, like that or they'll just it'll just do the sort of slam and try and uh, eat into the, that one that you can just walk around and just hit plenty of times uh, yeah, and that's essentially the whole thing. Just dodge through it. And try and keep that rhythm going. Um, obviously, um, stage 2 and 3 are a bit more difficult. It, poison damage comes into it a lot more. But yeah, you can uh, actually knock this boss over as well with a charge R2, which you can see, see me do a few times. That's a great time to attack. But yeah, it stays pretty much the same the whole time almost like a bullfight and then it obviously it does this as well the um nearly <laughs> knocked it out of bounds then 
But yeah, if you can do two charges to R2s, you will knock it over uh, when it does that sort of flurry of attacks. This boss can also, if you are good at parrying, can be parried all the way through. So if you're good at parrying, then uh, go for it. I don't know why I'm trying to do charge R2s at this point. I should just stick to normal R1 attacks. So any time now, it's going to go into phase 3 with the amount of health that it's got. Uh, and that's when I, I do kind of lose my rhythm a bit. I do a bit it get caught with a couple of those flurries, which I really shouldn't. It is a great time to do uh, a charge R2 as it's doing the flurry, because it doesn't track you. Um, so you can just kind of get up behind it and set up ready for it, because it's going to continue doing those attacks. When it's doing that, it's about to do an explosion of uh, poison. So yeah, you do need to contend with poison at this time. It's always going to do this poison now. Um, so... Yeah, it didn't get knocked over there, which is a problem. So yeah, I'm just trying to set up. I'm going to get my antidotes ready. Uh, I like to do poison just before it starts. Sometimes I'll miss it if I'm doing something else. But get rid of it. Clear it before I actually start taking damage from it. So it does go... Yeah, that was a rough one. <laughs> that was a lot of damage. It does sort of knock my um, rhythm a bit. But yeah, uh, if you can get kind of underneath, it does do the same attacks, it's exactly the same fight. It just looks a lot more frenzied and uh, over the top. Almost got it there. If I got that with the R2 then I would have been game over. Because um, I'd knock it back and go straight into another one and it would have been enough damage. Poison resistance is very good, so I'm going to get rid of it. Ooh, that was bad. Fire's run out, but it's nearly done now. <laughs> See, I've completely lost the rhythm at this point. If you lose it, it can be uh, quite difficult to get back into it. Just step back, take stock, and then once it, once you see the opening again, it starts doing the charging. There we go. Missed again. <laughs> there, right. Come on. Go down. Done poison again at last moment. Blood Gem Master, because we've got the damp bluntinge gem number 5 there, level 5. If you don't get it, don't worry. Don't worry. Um, you will definitely get one in the Defile Dungeon, which is the next video. So yeah, don't worry if you don't get it. And that's the only boss we're doing. That's the only other boss. No more bosses. We're not doing the boss of level 3. We don't care. <laughs> uh, of course, you can go and do it if you want. I think it's the Abhorrence Beast, which is... A boss we haven't fought. It's a big electric beast. I don't know if you remember. Um, there was an enemy, or an NPC should I say. That was on top of a building in Forbidden Woods. And I said, don't kill him. He will change into a, a big werewolf type beast. That's the boss, basically. We didn't do it. It's near where the cannon was, where we picked that up. On the rooftop. Um, yeah, don't bother. It's quite a tough one. You can bring a, a summon with you in it. But we don't need to do it. What we're going to do now is level 3. We do actually need to get to the other side of level 3 to get what we need. Uh, I'm just cracking a few things here to get that extra level. Um, it's the sort of past level 3, layer 3, whatever you want to call it. Uh, when we get to the other side of it, there's a secret area. In there, there are four Bastard of Laran. We're just going to get two, and then I'm going to use a Bold Hunter's Mark, and I'm going to get the hell out. And that's it. I'm not going to go searching around for other stuff. If you want, you can, but all that we need are these Bastard of Loran. And we can now go and get them pretty freely, and that's what we're going to do. So, starting layer 3, you have the enemy here. If you look, in a moment you're going to see some red. If you look, not that way. Yeah, no, that way, sorry. <laughs> that's where the boss door is. To the other side is, uh, you want to go into that room first. I completely went the wrong way to try and get rid of this Chai Maiden. So, if you go to that other room first, there's a summon, which is going to obviously help against uh, spiders. There is another Chai Maiden in here. You see there's more spiders. I'm just going to go and get the summon. I should have been quicker off the mark. Uh, and just run past. Probably should run past this enemy as well. Because uh, the spiders are coming. <laughs> so, through here. Look to the right. And you're going to see it do kind of get get a bit lucky here. I shouldn't have done this. This is a bit a bit stupid really. 
Well, yeah, there he is. The summon, he's just going to help us with this area. We're not doing the boss, so it doesn't really matter. Beast Claw. Beast called Joe. <laughs> he's actually quite good. Yeah, that other room that we just saw that you could have carried on, don't bother. Um, because you'll be downstairs, we need to be upstairs. You'll just get bombarded with fire, so don't bother going in there. There is another maiden in here. She's upstairs. Nope, not that way. There's a spider coming that way. We'll let Joe take on the spiders. He almost dies, actually. Which is, uh, I save him at the last moment. Oh! <laughs> that was close, Joe. Yeah, and we actually need to come up here. Here he is, nice and healed up now. So if we go out here and to the left, there are some of those mage uh, with the hoods on. You can see one just there. It went ran past him. He's just in the corner there. He won't hit you. All we need to do is go through this room and uh, hit the switch. There's one of those terrifying things in here. So <laughs> it's not a problem because we've got a friend with us. Uh, Ritual Blood 5 there. Make sure you grab that because we will need some later on. Yeah, there he is. Ah! <laughs> Never get used to it. Easy enough. And there's the switch. So we're actually done with layer 3. So we can just leave at this point. Because what we need is in the side area. Confused yet with all these Chalice Dungeons? Oh, there's so many of them. It's a good job we don't. We're only really scratching the surface of how many Chalice Dungeons there are. Because you've got all the random ones as well. Um, there's so many. There's ho possibilities of hundreds of these things. I don't know anybody who enjoys these, to be, to be honest. I'm sure the people are, that do. But no thanks. Not for me. Just waiting for Joe there. Miss these bullets on the way. There they are, Bastard of Loran. The last, th the next thing we're getting. We're almost there. So if we go through the boss door, like I said, there are actually four. So if you do go a different way in this secret area, there are going to be some more. Watch when you open this door. There is a werewolf right there. Don't get stuck in a corner with this guy. <laughs> Almost there with this one now. And then we have Defiled Dungeon next. The three bosses that they put in this dungeon is absolutely ridiculous as well. Uh, they take away half of your health and they put these three bosses in. I'm not going to tell you who they are, it's a nice surprise. You already know. Amygdala, uh, Watchdog of the Old Lords, and Keep Keeper of the Old Lords. It's called the same? Yes? No. The... the <laughs> The orco looking guy with the, the hat on usually has two dogs with him. He's going to be a boss again. Um, yeah, it's going to be a parry thing. We'll be parrying that boss, I'd imagine. Makes it easier. Even though I'm not particularly good at it. Making a right mess here. So I'm not, hap what, I'm not sure what happens to Joe at this point. But he's going to leave us. No, he actually stays around, but he technically leaves us. I don't know where he goes. He finds a werewolf and throws it down the hole wherever he goes. So if you cross this bridge, and then you're going to see that there's a hole in the floor here. And there's a chest directly below. This is what we want. Be aware though, there's plenty of enemies in here. Uh, yeah, forget about that scurrying beast, don't worry about it. Watch out for the traps in the corners as well. And just, yeah, put some distance between you and them. But they're nice and slow and simple. You've fought many of these by now. Nope, gonna miss. That was good. <laughs> Come on, we're right there. Okay. Right. In this chest is two of Bastard of Loran. We only need two. There are two more in this area somewhere. I think they are upstairs. I've forgotten. I did get them in practice, but we don't need them. So I'm just going to grab these two 
and then I'm going to use a bold hunter's mark to get the hell out of here. Uh, I will get the scurrying beast in a moment, but we need to get... I don't know where he's gone. He didn't fall down the hole. I think he followed us, but whatever. I can hear him messing around upstairs. You probably can't hear him at this point. He's somewhere around. So I use that to get rid of him. He is fighting something. I can kind of hear it. <laughs> and then this drops out of nowhere. I don't even know where that came from. But it must have been what he was fighting. But yeah, that was a nice surprise. Yeah, just get that scurrying beast. And then just use a bold hunter's mark. That's going to allow us to leave with all of our blood echoes intact. We should have loads of these. We have not been using them at all. And away we go. See at the bottom there, Arcane Haze, purchase, question mark. Depends how many you need. You need 22 for the Defiled Ritual. So we'll just work out how many you need and uh, how many you need to purchase. So if you look at your items now, you should have at least 9 Ritual Blood level 4. Uh, the two uh, Arcane Haze, we're going to need 22, so I need some more yet. Uh, and then we've got at the, right at the bottom two Bastard of Loran. So, all I've got missing is the Arcane Haze. We can get that from here because we have the Haze Extractor now. We got that a couple of dungeons ago. So we go to this desk here, this uh, workbench. Arcane Haze. And then you can trade in. So obviously don't trade in any of the Ritual Blood. We can see there, two Mold. Uh, level 3 is going to give me 7. So if I just do one of those, that's 7. And then two Mold, uh, 1. Is going to give me th some more. So that's enough. I now have uh, 23, I think. Uh, yes, 23. So that's more than enough. We do need more. We need another 50 or so. But we'll do that as we need it. We will find some more as well as we go. Uh, yeah, that's it. So I'm just going to do a bit more leveling. We're going to take strength all the way up to 50. And then probably start on skill after that. Um, and that's it. So yeah, get ready for the Defile Dungeon. It's next. Right. Thanks very much for watching. And I'll see you on the next one.